Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Success with Excess. So today I am using ribbons and such things like that. Um, I have them stored in this bag, um, most of them. I also have ribbon over there and ribbon over there, but these are the ones that we are going to be playing with. I'm gonna be scrapbooking these photos of Christopher and I last Thanksgiving. Uh, we didn't have anybody at home with us, so we stayed in pajamas and we were excited that a tree was up. <laughs> so let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I have pulled out a bunch of ribbons. I have some sparkly ribbon. I have some non-sparkly ribbon. I have this big, thick, faux, yellow pleather thing that I don't know exactly even what to categorize it as. I've got some sheer ribbon. I've got all the ribbons. Now this paper is an Echo Park paper. It is from some travel collection, but you know, I'm not using it for travel. Um, ultimately, I also decide to only scrapbook the photo of Christopher and I where our heads are kind of cuddled together, not the one where we're pointing at the Christmas tree. Um, I used that one in my December project last year. And even though I don't mind scrapbooking photos in both my December project and in our annual uh, albums, I didn't feel the need to have it twice for this particular circumstance. So yeah, feel free to scrapbook your photos however you wish. Sometimes we just need to hear that it's okay to do what we want. <laughs> Um, so I went ahead and uh, trimmed down these ribbons. Now I did cut them about uh, six, six-ish inches, I want to say. Uh, I cut them and then I go and pull in a couple other ribbons because what I had down there wasn't really excessive. And I'm not convinced the amount of ribbon I have on the page is excessive. Um, just because I think I probably could have used, done some more. Uh, but I like the end result and that is what I think matters, right? Now you might be looking at these papers or these aren't even papers. Oh my heavens. You might even be looking at these ribbons and being like, oh, Sandy, these colors. No girl. No. Uh, but I think that it turns out great. I like how colorful it is and it doesn't, it's not screaming garish. To me, it's just screaming fun and colorful. And that is generally how I like my layouts. I like them fun and colorful. I am still using that double-sided sticky tape because you know I got to get it used up, so there is that. Um, and now I am just going ahead and laying these ribbons down uh, over top of the tape that I placed down. So my tape is horizontal and my ribbons are vertical. Now I'm not doing this in any particular kind of pattern. I'm just kind of grabbing the ribbon that jumps out at me and placing it down on the page. I wasn't too terribly worried about the frayed edges at the end either, but that blue one was a little bit much. Um, so I trimmed that little sucker off and left the other ones uh, as is. I'm not using my fabric scissors and my fabric scissors, you guys, I accidentally used my fabric scissors the other day on non-fabric and now I just feel like they're totally ruined. Totally ruined. If you have fabric scissors, then you understand what I mean. I have a pair of scissors that are only used for fabric, nothing else ever, and I accidentally used them. <sighs> I ruined my day, for real. Like it ruined my day. So next time scissors go on sale, I'm buying them because I need a new pair of fabric scissors because that's where I am in this life. Um, I went ahead and put that uh, yellow pleather-esque, <laughs> whatever it's called, um, across the bottom. And this is where I decide that I only need the one photo. Uh, two photos are going to cover up too much of the ribbon. And let's be honest, this is supposed to be a layout. Like the whole layout is being made because I have an excessive amount of ribbon. Um, so yeah, we need to show off the ribbon. Now this is a Queen and Company felt thingamajiggy and it does have a sticky back to it. However, I don't know, I don't remember if they, if these 
felt fusion things were always like this. When you peeled off the back, it kind of like pulled and stretched the felt. Or if it's just been so long and the adhesive is just kind of stuck there. But anyway, uh, it started tearing it and mis like misshapening my felt. I wasn't having any of that, so I tossed that off to the side and then I grabbed another piece. And I'm gonna trim off the edges so that they are nice and curvy. And then I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive on the back of this sucker. And I'm going to pop it down over top of this yellow, uh, this yellow paper. This is not paper. Oh my word, you guys. This, this yellow ribbon, I keep calling this stuff paper. Now my plan was to only decorate with the ribbons and things. I did bring in a couple little bits of things. So I hope you guys will forgive me for that. Um, but if you don't forgive me, I will be just fine. <laughs> um, now I've got this uh, sheer uh, ribbon as well. Now, instead of using tool as a mat for my photo, which is something that I do, I won't say regularly, but it is something that I do occasionally because I like the look of it. Um, I decided to do it with this sheer blue ribbon. I figured that this would give me a similar look and it would just give me a little twinge of extra blue. Also, fun fact, right now at Hobby Lobby, there is Christmas tool, okay? It, there's red, white, green, gold, and I think silver. That, the white tool is on a huge spool, you guys, huge spool. And it's $9.99, but since it's Christmas, it's 60% off. So you're gonna get a huge spool of tool, <laughs> spool of tool, spool of tool, <laughs> uh, for four bucks, right? So that's a deal. Um, if you like tool or if you want to try it and play with it, it's now, now's the time. Plus if you like it in red and green or gold and silver, I think silver, I can't remember if they're silver or not. Um, might be a good time to get some tool. Just saying. Um, so I am going to pop this photo down with some fun foam. And the reason why I'm doing it, that is because the photo is gonna go over that yellow pleather stuff, and it's also gonna go over that black felt fusion from Queen & Company. So I felt like I needed to lift the photo a little bit so my photo wasn't kind of leaning backwards because that is how it would feel, uh, to me at least, if I did that. So I go ahead, pop that photo down. So I've got the ribbon on top of the ribbon. I'm loving how this layout is looking. The little colorful dots in the background, which you can't really see, are kind of like reddish and yellowish and orange. I think there's orangish. I'm not looking at the layout. And I am voice overing this by the light of the Christmas tree in my bedroom. So my light's not great right now. <laughs> uh, so there it is. But this double sided sticky tape is never ending. Never ending. I honestly might give up on it and just fill up all the ATGs and, and use that. Um, Cause I feel like this is such a time waster. Like it takes so long to put the sticky tape down and then peel off the backing. Like, ugh. Like how can, how can you even handle that? Um, so I do use uh, some of that uh, sparkly ribbon right there. It's gonna go across my photo and also uh, partially across that yellow pleather stuff. And then I decide this is not enough ribbon on the layout, so I'm gonna add some more. So now I am going to do some little bits of banners up here, just to give it a little bit of decoration. Now, when I originally pulled out these ribbons, I actually thought about weaving them. And then I was like, I don't have enough ribbon to completely make a weaved mat the size that I did. Well, that's a lie. That's a dirty, dirty lie. <laughs> I am a dirty, dirty liar. Um, I have plenty of ribbon to make a woven mat. However, I did not have enough of the same ribbon to make a woven mat. There is that distinction. So some of this ribbon is a little floppy. It's going wheel, wheel, wheel. So I need to 
uh, add a little bit of adhesive down there so it doesn't do that. Uh, nobody needs a floppy layout that goes wheel, wheel, right? Um, you guys are probably thinking I've lost my daggone mind and I might, I might have lost my daggone mind. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place that down. I'm also doing a little bit of sheer ribbon over the top. I really liked how that sheer uh, ribbon was over top the stripey bits on the photo mat area. So I figured I would do it again over here. So I'm going to put a little adhesive down uh, to hold the ribbon down here at the front. And then I'm going to cover that up. So this is where I realized, oh, I'm going to need something a little bit more than just ribbon to decorate this layout because I need to cover up that adhesive. So I grab um, this little ticket thing right here only because it's it's small and it's green and it's going to cover up the adhesive just fine. And I think it coordinates well enough with what I've got going on here. And then I pull in this little banner label doohickey. It is gold and white. And I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to create a little bit of decoration where that ticket and the banner match up. So I've got this sticky tag thing. It's from Stickopotamus. Oh, do you guys remember Stickopotamus? I love Stickopotamus stickers. They're so fun. I love them because they came with um, punched out holes and you can put them in a binder. Oh, sticker. I love stickers, you guys. I love stickers. When I was a little kid, I had a sticker book and I had the best stickers. And I don't know what happened to that sticker book. I don't know if it got tossed. Um, all I know is it was in my possession for a long time. And it was saved with my baby book. And um, I don't know if that's around either. I don't know if that got tossed. So anyway, um, I actually I actually feel sadness in my soul when I think about that sticker book because I loved it so much. Um, anyway, enough depressing talk. Holy Moses, let's just stop that. So I've got those uh, cream colored hearts and then I have placed those puffy green hearts on top of them. Again, I'm 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 feeling like I'm kind of cheating in my in my own head because I want it to do this entire layout with just ribbons and things like that. Um, but again, I felt like it needed a little bit of something different besides just the ribbons. Like I felt like it needed that break and it needed some sort of other texture on the page. Hope that that makes sense. Um, it does in my head, so that's how it's going to be, right? <laughs> like, I can, it makes sense in my head, and I can understand what I'm saying and where I'm coming from. Hopefully, you can get that, too. Um, it has been a very long day, you guys. I am tired, and, um, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> so, Right now, I am off trying to find some sort of word that can go on this page to be the title. And I'm looking for something Thanksgiving-y, Thanksgiving -y related. I don't really have a whole heck of a lot of Thanksgiving uh, embellishments and stickers per se. Uh, but I did find these gold thickers. This says grateful. And I figured, you know what, this is on Thanksgiving. I'm thankful my husband let me have a jammy day on Thanksgiving. We're going to go with the word. So it is a gold word, but there is enough gold and sparkly bits in the ribbon that I feel like it's fine, right? Like I don't feel like it is competing. Now there was a little bit of sticker stuck in that R and that had to come out because you know I can't handle the little bits inside of the letters. So now I've got my title down and I decide that now what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay a little bit of journaling down. So up on the banner tag in the upper left-hand corner, the only thing I'm doing is writing Thanksgiving 2021. And then uh, down underneath of the title in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm just going to uh, write a little text here about um, how grateful I am for Christopher and the fact that we celebrate at Thanksgiving in our pajamas. Also, a fun fact, uh, way back before, 
scrapbooking hit its heyday when it was huge. Um, I used to call journaling text. I had no idea that it was even journaling. So, yeah. Anyway, the last thing I'm going to do is grab some black velvet Heidi Swap Color Shine. And I'm just going to add a couple little black splatters throughout the layout. Um, I did stare at this page for a long time to decide if I wanted to tear some of the paper edges and put some black ribbon underneath of it, but ultimately I decided splatters were enough. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you feel like this is an excessive amount of ribbon on a layout, because um, I'm still not sure. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.